yo, what's up, all you fucking nerds? This is your boy LT, along with Lego Design. Welcome to back to Nations Talk. What's up, Design? Hey, what up, guys? How's it going? So we got some big news today, and we have some a new segment. It's going to be kind of fun, I think. We have two special guests today. You know, one of them is Lego Aries, who used to upload to the YouTube channel. Hasn't been very active lately, but hopefully he'll be back into that. And then we have a returning guest, Ashley Archaic from. You know, Ashley Archaic, who was on, I think, our second episode ever of Nation's Talk. It was kind of fun. It was Girl Gamers versus Guy Gamers, I believe, if I'm correct. But what's up, guys? Yeah. Yo. All right. Ashley, I couldn't hear you because, uh, you know, <laughs> Harry's kind of <laughs> blew over you there. How's it going? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you so much for spending time. Yeah, I know we rescheduled this a hundred times already, but we're finally getting it done, so... I forgot actually. I forgot you lived on the Pacific side. So I was thinking when you said your time, I was like, oh okay. I yeah, got you. you when you like, <laughs> me, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Discussion. Yeah. doesn't know time zones. Oh, I know time zones. I just forgot the time. No, he's just a fucking idiot. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Well, I'm the one. Okay, right, you know what? We'll, we'll say that for another nation's talk. All right. Anyways. <laughs> Alright guys, so I want to get into the news that came out today on the 26th, if you're watching this on the 20, uh, on Tuesday when it goes up, I think it'll be the 28th. Uh, so today, Black Ops 3 World Ride Reveal trailer was out, and it was pretty awesome for some people, and it was pretty okay for some. I have some stuff that I want to go over with you guys. Now, these are facts about Black Ops 3. Now, remember, this is not opinion-based. These are facts. I know if you watch our last Nation Talk, which will be out every Tuesday, I was going to try to do them Tuesdays and Thursdays, but... We're going to do them just every Tuesday, so if you go back and watch our last one, uh, there at the end design, we brought up Black Ops 3. Uh, well, we talked about it quite a bit, but yeah, what we'd like to see in it stuff. So these are actually facts about Black Ops 3 news. This is, here we go, okay? I'm going to read a little bit of you. Set to paint the Black Ops 3 by the Rolling Stones, okay? The trailer gives us the first look at Black Ops 3 gameplay and offer them some story context about how soldiers are becoming less human. Uh, that's yes. the story mode. That's going to be based off, that's like story campaign. What are your thoughts? What are you going into it, Ares and Ar Ashley? I mean, just off that alone for now. It says soldiers, the story will be about soldiers are becoming less like humans. Uh, I think it's pretty spot on, and I like the direction that they're going in. Now remember, mind, this, this game is taking place in 2065. Mm -hmm. I got right. something to say. I was watching that video. Uh, I don't think it was just about soldiers. It was about just technology mm -hmm. taking, like, it could possibly, like, take over. Like, you know, yeah, like, it's better than actual, like, human strength. Uh, like, uh, it showed someone on a, like, a first place stand in, like, an Olympic game or something taking the gold with no legs, with the, uh, like, yeah. robot legs. Yeah. Now, th this, is not, this is what I'm getting off Treyarch. So I'm just going to read, you know, I haven't, I didn't bump out anything. Yeah, and I agree with you. It could be about, uh, I think, about machines turning against the humans that they built. Or I'm thinking more along the lines of basic Call of Duty where it could be an enemy controlling the machines that they built. Ah, you know? uh, yes. It could be either of those. What about you, Ares? What are you thinking? I know you're over there typing and stuff, but it's not time for typing. It's time for answering. I was also saying <laughs> something. Um, I, was watching, I watched the video myself. And mm -hmm. uh, on my Twitter, I, 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 I openly admitted I don't think this. I, I honestly think... Call of Duty as a series is dead. There is no reason to continue mm -hmm. this. Black Ops 3 is just following along the footsteps of what Advanced Warfare was, and I'm, I just don't see the reason why Call of Duty continues. Okay, well, yeah, like I said, everyone's everyone's open to their opinion. I, I strongly disagree. It's nothing. It's nothing going to be like Advanced Warfare. Uh, Treyarch has always been the top tier Call of Duty content maker, so I believe that it will be a fantastic game. I mean, shit, they've had three years to make it. It better be. Or yeah. I hope it's gone as well. Yeah. All right, so let's yeah. move on with uh, some more. Okay, this is going along with the multiplayer. Most importantly, it is confirmed that the Black Ops 3 release date will be November 6th, hmm. 2015, which is the first time Call of Duty has ever been released on a Friday. All right. Now, the biggest changes. You are no longer play as a generated soldier. Okay. Instead, you will pick a specialist soldier at the beginning of each match. Oh, uh, see, sorry. The beginning of the match, and each one has its own unique power and weapon. That's all. That's all there is. That's what it is. Mm. Mm. Unique power and weapon. Mm -hmm. Like, do they know what kind I of powers? Well, so like some, like 
this is not this was not on the website, but I've heard through other sources that there's nine characters you can choose from, and each one of them have something different. Like a special ability is one guy's arm turns into a machine gun, another guy's arm turns into like a rail gun, and then it's oh, not actually a rail gun. Okay. But then like one has a cross like a bow and arrow. Um, this is what I've that's what I've heard from other sources besides Call of Duty. So that being said, for me, it's kind of pushing it to where it's going to be like, I haven't played the game. Um, now, what what one thing is that everyone was freaking out about was the thrust jump that they announced. Now, I did do research into that. I looked into a lot of different stuff. And the thrust jump is not like an EXO. So there will be no EXOs. The thrust jump is just like, uh, it could be only a campaign as well, but it's just like a little thrust and it's slow. It's like a little slow boost, like jump, barely, but it's not even very high. So, I mean, and there is wall running, like Titanfall, but... Ooh, that, that'll be fun. Yeah. Definitely. But they also mentioned that the maps were built around three to four lane maps, which goes back to the basic Call of Duty, which is Black Ops 3. Their maps are basically three or four lane, but they'll add a little bit, a little bit different, like the wall jumping, you'll be on a roof, of course, or it could be the main platform. They said there's not a lot of wall jumping. Uh, our wall running, but it is in the game. Right. Underwater and multiplayer, multiplayer will Ooh. be a thing. Wow! Uh, you can swim and you can use your weapons and your grenades and everything underwater. Only on certain maps. It could be, uh, it, it could be on one or two maps. This is what this is what was being said. It's only on one or two maps, and you can go underneath water. You can pull out your gun. You can shoot somebody else that's underneath a waterfall or whatever. Whatever map it's going to be, but it's not going to be like throughout the whole you know, six or seven maps that they'll have on release date. Yeah. So, that, I mean... That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. I just wonder what it's going to look like, though. Well, I imagine it's going to be pretty well. Hopefully. Okay, <laughs> like, so... Like an explosion underwater? Like, I wonder if they put, like, you know, like, bubbles and, like, the effects of, like, what a real explosion yeah. would be like. Yeah, I would hope so. Now, here's the thing. If you went back and you watched our last Nations talk that me and Design brought up at the towards the end of it, it says, if you pre-order Black Ops 3, you will get... Early access to a multiplayer beta. The first time Call of Duty's ever done anything like a beta. Okay? And it says, only on the, P the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. No old gens were ever mentioned there. So, that kind of makes me think, are they going to release it on the old gens? We don't know yet. We don't, we'll never know until it comes out. I'm right, going to and... bet they will. Mm -hmm. But I can almost guarantee that... It's not going to live up. It's either going to, one, be abandoned completely or have so few players that they aren't going to make enough money off of it. True. Ashley, what do you think? Old gens, yes or no? Um, I mean, you don't really know until it comes out, but I think that... From a business there, standpoint, what if would you it, do? If it does, um, there's still you know a good amount of people who play the old gen consoles. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't think they live up to, like, what they're meant to look like and how they're meant to perform like the next gens exactly just like those so the best you, yeah. yeah so exactly. if you were an owner or a ceo at treyarch what would you say say do you care about the old gens or do you let it go what do you do i mean if it's an already existing thing like we still have it then i would you know care about it but i know it's mm -hmm. phasing out it has like what two years left possibly yeah yeah, yeah maybe if that yeah, hit that. All right, well, there you go. All right, so the last thing I'm going to bring you about the Black Ops 3 news before we get into our actual topic. I know we're about 10 minutes in. This is going to be quite a little bit long episode just because we have our guests and everything, but that's okay. So these are the minimum PC specs put out by Treyarch to run Black Ops 3 if you're a PC player and you're watching this video. It is the, uh, it says OS 64-bit Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. Okay, CPU, Intel Core i3-530, 2.93 gigahertz, or the AMD Phenom. Okay, and then it says your system RAM has to be at least 6 gigabytes, and your graphics card can be as low as the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 470, 1 gigabyte, or the ATI Radeon HD 6970 with 1 gigabyte as well. Hard drive space, 1 terabyte, and uh, it says Direct X11. So those are the minimum requirements to run this. It won't be top tier, but they want... If you're watching this and you're a PC gamer, you should already have a better computer than that anyways. But just in case you're just a console gamer and you have the game on the PC for God knows why, 
then those are the minimum requirements you have until November 6 to upgrade your PC. So, I mean, Aries, you're the PC person here, so... That, yeah, that's about a... I'm probably going to say between four and $600 computer. A four and six hundred four and six hundred dollar computer, and Aries knows a lot about PCs, so I would take his word for that. So, but in that case, then you'd be better off with console because you're in the same range, and you're gonna get pretty much a similar PC to what your console is gonna be. Oh, okay, all right. Well, there you go. All right, guys. So that's all the Black Ops Three news for now. I will bring you more in next week's, or I might have an extra video where I post some, post some gameplay. Um, telling you guys some stuff. Now, I did, I've been thinking about this a lot, something I haven't told anyone. I'm going to go ahead and announce it here on the show. I've been thinking about this a lot about my uploading schedule, and I haven't been, been able to upload every day, and it's because of scheduling problems with myself and things like that. So, I have a new schedule that's going to be coming out, and I'm going to put up a video every Tuesday for sure, and then, uh, Thursday and Saturday. So, three day, three times a week, I'm going to try to put up a video for you guys, just to make sure you guys can come back and see. So, that's going to be a schedule, so if you ever get around to it, and whenever I get some help on the channel, we'll try to go up to daily. So, but for now, it's going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So, just make sure you guys come by and stop by. And I, I, I'd love we'll to up. fill that gap in between there. Mm -hmm. But being the fact that I've become more prominent to streaming, yeah, it's not something I do because I don't like to pull off my stream because the videos look like crap. Yeah, that's true. See, and I I have been streaming a lot myself, and I pull some videos from my stream. So. You know, I'll keep doing what I'm doing because, you know, you do get good some gameplays. And Ashley has reached, how many subscribers have you now, Ashley, since we first had you on here? I, I looked yesterday. I know it changed today. Do you know right off the top of your head how many um, you've gotten now? Last I looked it was 280. <laughs> yeah, and you, yesterday, so. well, congratulations on the 280. I know you were just Thank barely you. at like 30 when we first had you on the show, so you've grown <laughs> quite well. <laughs> yeah. Moving All up right. in the world. Congratulations on that. I mean, hell yeah. And, your videos are pretty good. Keep up, keep up the content. I actually do watch almost every one of your videos, even oh. if, it, if they're late. So, uh, keep up with that. All right. So now we're gonna go into our story. If you guys, like I said, if you guys want more Black Ops Three news, just stay tuned on Thursdays and Saturdays. And if I have any drastic news, I will definitely, definitely have that on Thursdays or Saturday videos. So ho hope you guys will come back and enjoy that. So we're gonna get into the topic of the day. Lego Aries will be representing the PC. And actually, okay, we'll be representing consoles, and I'm going to ask them questions about it, and then we'll see what's going on. Okay? So, actually, this is going first from you. Why do you prefer console? Um, I think it's just a bit more convenient for me personally. Um, okay. I sort of have, like, a basically a box of entertainment, and I can play multiple games without having to, um, you know, upgrade stuff like I would have to on a PC. So it's just True. more convenient for me. Now, it can more convenient as price wise, or just like easier access. Go uh, type it's of like thing. an all in one, like like I said, and price definitely. Price. Okay, cool. In Aries, I know that you play both consoles, but just in this this segment, you know, why do you prefer PC? PC PC has a lot of potential to it, with the ability of much more control when you play something like CS:GO or Arma. You have a lot of stretch to the way you can play. You can okay. the way you can play with your mouse is completely different from a controller. While console gamers have stuff like aim assist, we don't have that. Okay. That gets taken away from PC. So we and, actually and, are forced to do this in and of ourselves. And uh add on to Aries, like uh I'm also console, but going from about like ten buttons to fifty plus is Put a drastic change in like what I do. There's so many more buttons and crap to hit. It's hard. It makes yeah, yeah. It makes a lot. Like he said, it makes it like a bigger range of like what you can do. But not, but not just that. I mean, we've got the control over the you with the mouse. I mean, you can be a lot more precise with it. But we've also got stuff like modding to games, so you can have like Elder Scrolls Skyrim, and have a ton of mods to do different things graphic wise, lighting, whatever it may be. You can have it. It costs a bit more, but you get. <laughs> gee, well, design knows that very well. Yeah, I spent about like two grand. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this right now: my entire setup's about two grand, two, two to three grand. Yeah. But that's expected from a PC that runs some of the top tier games. Arma three and Arma two are not lightweight games. 
They require mm-hmm. a lot of system. Okay. So, so we have that aspect. Okay, so Aries, just give me one game, just say the game, that you would never touch on PC that is on console. One game that's on PC that isn't console? One game that you wouldn't touch on PC that you would play on console. Um, I could probably say it wouldn't be a game, but it'd be it'd be generalized. I'd have to say probably racing games because racing games just don't work well with mouse and keyboard. All right, Ashley. What about you? If you prefer one game that you, um, basically vice versa of what I asked him, if you could pick one game that you wouldn't touch on console but you'd play on PC, what would it be? Um. I mean, I think that's a bit harder of a question for me. I'm just mostly, it is. It is. you know, on console. But uh, for me, first-person shooters on a computer are just, I don't know, like, they're crazy. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. Like, for my answer to that would be I would never, ever touch any Call of Duty title on the PC. Mm-hmm. Ever. I wouldn't... I wouldn't play any Battlefield title on the PC. That's just because, I, and I am, I've been console most of my life, but I have played a lot of PC uh, in my earlier years, and here recently i played a lot of PC. But I wouldn't touch any, the only real first-person shooter I, I would play on PC would be Counter-Strike Go and Arma, but Arma's also third-person, mm-hmm. so. There are hardcore really servers that lock you into that first-person level. Well, Either, either or, it doesn't yeah. matter. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't really like. I would never touch if they if they made an Arma game for the console. I wouldn't buy it. I, I, I don't see that it. being possible. Well, see, I never thought they'd make a Daisy game, but me and Design both have a Daisy game on our Xboxes that we didn't play very much. It's called like Apocalypse Apocalypse Zero or something like that. And I, you know, I figured I'd try it out, and it was just the worst thing ever because I played Daisy on a computer, and I would never do that. I just uh, think Arma would just be, Arma would just be terrible for console. There's way too many buttons you need. Yeah, I agree with you there. <laughs> All right, Ashley. So one thing I would like to know, coming from you, being being mostly console, is that so you said you find it just a box of entertainment. So you have Netflix, you have YouTube. Mm-hmm. Okay, on a scale, or just 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 anything that you can explain to me, basically. From the Xbox, the original Xbox, did, what console did you own back back in the day, we'll say, when you were younger? Was it the PS2? Was it the PlayStation? Uh, not, I had PlayStation know. 1, 2, mm-hmm. um, I mean, even the classic Nintendos. Yeah. So you, you, started out, you started out on PlayStation, and then you moved to Xbox when the original Xbox came out? Yes. Okay, so you've seen... Even though you haven't played much PC, you've seen the growth of PC from being the Mac 1 back in the way back day from what it is now. How do you compare that really to console? Like, okay, console went from the Xbox original. You you couldn't really do much. You could download music to it, play your games, Mm -hmm. and play Xbox Live. I think that's basically about it. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the 360 where you can get on the web. You can, you know, all the stuff like just... How how's that work in your mind? Like just the, like, the, the pro, like the progress that consoles have made. Like, how does that make you feel about where they're going with the whole, uh, more family entertainment than gaming type of thing, or vice versa? It, whatever your opinion is based on that. Um, I definitely like the progression where consoles have been and then where they are now. And what they can do, um, and all the multitasking, and all the features and apps and stuff that can, you know, be on it, and stuff that you can do mm-hmm. on it. Um, so I definitely think that that's awesome. However, I was actually having like a discussion um, the other day with somebody saying how um, consoles and gaming consoles are more sort of going towards a family thing, where there's Netflix, there's Hulu, and then you know you have like your gaming. Um, so I'm not really sure where that's going to lead the future of consoles, if it's more of going to be just like a family entertainment box, or is it you know, going to keep going with being, um, 
a gameplay dominant device, I guess. Yeah. So I understand. I kind of feel the same way. Um, I feel like they're going more towards a family type thing than they are a gaming <laughs> system. Mm-hmm. You know, and I don't know how I feel about that, me being a pretty hardcore gamer. Yeah, exactly. Um, right, so Aries, what is your opinion on what Ashley just said? I, I have to agree. Consoles not be... I, I, in the long run, console won't be just gaming. And that's... You know, we're getting to that point where it's just going to be a family entertainment system. I mean, I started, like, <laughs> I had a Sega Genesis when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that dates me in age a little. But I, I, yeah. like, I grew up with PlayStation all my life. Yeah. And when I switched to the PC, it was a big difference. PC has a ton of things to do, but I'm starting to watch consoles change. They're starting to become more like PCs, but in the other end, they're starting to become basically to replace what television was. Television is becoming outdated, and the consoles are becoming the, the new in thing to replace it. Because well, everyone's like, oh, let's go watch Netflix. We can find this on Netflix. We can do this on Netflix. But, and TV's being outdated type of thing, it's like the new shows coming on, like one of my favorite shows that I've been watching here recently, recently is called a, sh- a show called The 100. And that, the first season's only on Netflix. Second season's not on there yet. I mean, I've watched both seasons already. Um, you, you got the new seasons of um, Criminal Minds, which I've loved all nine seasons of that. Show. I've watched every episode, haven't missed one. Shows, like, the new episodes, they don't come on Netflix, you know, like things like that. It's just like what I think they're trying to push for is just too much. I think they should stick to what got them where they're at today. Because if, in my opinion, you think about it, actually, I think you'd agree, is that. Once they progressed, once people started realizing Xbox Live, you could play with your friends, you could play Halo back in the day when that was a thing. When Halo 1 and Halo 2, you could play online with your friends, that was a big thing. That pushed their console, uh, excuse me, to the next level. Spending money on Xbox Live, they started charging more for Xbox Live, it went up, the price went up, and then, you know, they got more games out like that. They were able to make millions off that and build a next console, the 360, mm-hmm. right? So... The gamers are what push their consoles to where it's at, but yet they're going towards more of a, you know, we'll we'll put some stuff in here for the games, but we want more family-oriented things where everyone can be involved. It's like a big fuck you in the face to the people who got them where they're at, which I don't really like that too much. Um, I can see what you're saying, and I agree in the sense of, you know, the consoles were originally gaming and meant for gaming, mm-hmm. and now they're, you know, putting all this other stuff on there. But then, as a day, you know, gamers are also parents. Um, you know, they watch it with their kids or whatever it is. They like watching shows too. So mm-hmm. I think it's just more of like we can now make a product that meets all of your wants and needs. So not only can we provide you with gaming, but we can provide you with Hulu, we can provide you with Netflix, Pandora, you know? So I feel like yeah. there's sort of a limit where if they put the lid on it and they just don't take it too far, then it's great and I love it. But don't, like, forget that, you know, you're a console, this is for gaming, and we want more out of, you know, the gaming and its abilities and stuff like that. And, I, you know, I agree with that. I, I actually I completely agree with that, but I also have something else to add to that. While consoles are slowly becoming more family oriented, we have to take into account that it's not becoming family oriented because of the companies that made the console. It's becoming family oriented because of the companies that make the games. Look at the shit that EA's pulling, or stuff like that. I mean, I was a bit. I'm a big EA fan. I. Battlefield was, Battlefield's my series to go to. Mm-hmm. And EA's basically just giving you the middle finger by saying, you know, well, you want access to something? Well, you gotta fucking pay for it. Well, <laughs> what? Yeah. Or, oh, you want you want access early access to DLC? Well, that's 50 bucks. If you want to spend the 50 bucks, you get all the DLC free. You save a little bit of money, but in the end, we can be basically, you know, you spend $110 off the start of the game. It's like, okay, well, guys, we're going too far with this. Yeah. yeah. And EA is the biggest violator when it comes to that. 
Yeah, it's also going on with uh, a lot of their um, sports games as well. I know I had a couple people come to me about a FIFA doing the same thing. Pay to uh, win. Yeah, basically pay to win games. Can't stand that shit, dude. Yeah. Pay to win games are Actually, the worst. Jim, so. Jim Sterling, I have to say this because I watched his videos. He said it best. What the games we are we have now, they're mm-hmm. not they're not you know they're not free to play or they're not pay to win. No, they are fee to win. You have to pay to buy the game and then pay to get stuff in the game to be better. It's like true. And see, that's one thing that turned me off from Advanced Warfare. I've been playing much of it lately. Is that because they added that you could buy supply drops in there, and in supply drops you get upgraded weapons, right? Now, their first mistake in Advanced Warfare was adding upgraded weapons. Okay. Their second mistake was letting people use upgraded weapons and competitive. Uh, not actually the pro circuit, but in competitive in the game. There's you know game types you can go and play competitive in. Yeah. Okay. And then their third biggest mistake is now you can pay to get an advanced supply drop, which gives you a 25% more chance of getting a better weapon. And you can pay to get that. So... I've seen some they, of the supply drop they, things. They released it so far in the game that I don't think it made that big of a difference because people had that stuff already. But it shows the way it is going, and I really hope that uh, Black Ops 3, nothing's been said about any supply drops or anything like that. Um, hopefully it doesn't come to that. But What's um, stopping them from doing that, though? Nothing's stopping them. I mean, but you would have think that if something like that was going to happen, it would have been released. I don't know. We have two months for the full multiplayer release and everything like that, so I'm not going to try to worry about it too much because I know the movement's changed. It's not going to be classic, classic Call of Duty than it is, but we won't worry about that right now. All right. So one last thing before we cut to this new segment that I have is my brother's back there snorting snot out of his nose, but <laughs> I know you guys can hear that. Um, Gross. <laughs> so, Aries, I want to come to you on this question. Ashley, please, please chime in whenever you want for this. Now, people have been said that PC is the master race. Master race of consoles and, and just, you know, that, that you know what I mean when I say that. Yeah. Okay, now, first off, you know, Ashley, I want to hear your opinion on this before I go to... Aries, because I know Aries has a bittersweet opinion on this. I want to go to you first. Oh, what is like? What do you say to the people that say that? Um, I don't know. Like, it's a bit tough. Um, I can definitely see why it's being said because there is so much more that you can do on a PC. So I think, um, just capability-wise, like, yeah, it's better for what it can do and its power and whatever um so on that front i agree Mm -hmm. um you know but it's more about i think you know each one's or each person's um just their preference and what's what's right for you but again like on the front of like its power and its capabilities oh yeah like it can do way more than a console but to go as far as saying Master Race, you wouldn't agree with that? Um, no. Okay. What about you, Design? Do you have anything to say since you've been quiet this whole time? My bad, dude. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know because I don't know how actually how many people play PC, but since we've been playing CSGO, seeing it like, oh, 350,000 people are playing this right now. It's in the middle of the day. It's like, dang, you know, if this game is popping right now and everyone's off work and out of school... You know, it seems like there's a lot, lot more people that play PC, but I, I know way more people that play consoles than I do PC. True. Yeah. So it's, I don't know, it's a hard question. It's hard. All right, so I'm going to let um, Aries go ahead and give you guys his rundown of what he thinks. See if you guys disagree or agree with something, you can chime in. Go ahead, Aries. All right. Keep in mind, this is based on my opinion. Everybody hates this dirty O word. But I'm going to start a war with it anyway. Dirty O word? <laughs> exactly. Is there such thing as a master race? No. As it stands right now, console gaming, as of next generation console gaming, they are as good as some of the lower tier PCs. However, 
I will admit PC gaming is quite a bit better. It's not a lot better, but it's up there. In certain games, I would agree with you. Yeah, certain games. In a lot of aspects. there's In certain games, it's better, but in a lot of aspects, there's a lot more you can do with it. True. But when it comes down to that, the one big thing that PC suffers from is exclusives. Yeah. Sure, they've got they've got something like Arma. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, there's no way you're going to see that, but you go back, you look at PlayStation, you look at Xbox. And PlayStation people who don't know has... what Arma is, it's a military simulator, just, just yeah. in case you never played it. Okay, go ahead, continue. PlayStation has Gran Turismo. We had The Order. <laughs> we had Bloodborne. Sorry. Xbox has Forza, Gears of War, Halo. Exclusives for console will always be better mm-hmm. than any exclusive that comes out for PC. But in that aspect, a lot of the games that are PC made that are ported to consoles are crap once they hit the new systems. Outside of that, there is no difference between the two. All right, so let me ask you this question. This is for all three of you guys. Uh, Aries, I'll assume you'll go ahead and answer it first. Okay, so say someone bought a PC. Uh, we'll go into Arma, for example, okay? And, um, or, no, you know what? We'll go to Call of Duty because I I know people that play Call of Duty on PC for God knows. I don't know why they do, but they do. <laughs> um, so let's we'll go take Black Ops 2. Everyone's really familiar with that, or, and the graphics are pretty good right so for someone who has a pc that's okay we'll just say okay for an order for them to run that game and feel good to them they have to turn down some stuff let's say they have to turn down some graphics they have to turn down the resolution because it gives them better fps right they have to turn down some shadowing or brightness just so the game runs better for them Aren't they basically downgrading that game on the PC to the console version anyways? Mm, yes and no. That's a, that's a that's a rough one to talk about. Mm-hmm. Because I know it is. When, that's why I brought it up. When you come <laughs> to think about it, even the minimum requirements, which I'm looking at right now for Black Ops mm-hmm. 2, aren't very high. Yeah. And you're still going to get, let's say... Maybe PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 graphics. But people who have the PC that are, that's average. Let's say they're running, I'll admit mine's average. My computer is not anywhere near the top. Yeah. Some, something like my computer, which is my, uh, my GeForce GTX 750 Ti, which has mm-hmm. 16 gigs of RAM. I could probably crank that game to max setting without much of a frame drop and if it gets a little too framey i can bring it down a little ways overall it'll come out better than console even on the low or even at lowest or one of the lower settings Mm -hmm. but that's a game like that when you're talking about Mm -hmm. games with like the next generation here's the big kicker when you look at stuff like if you look at xbox to playstation to pc playstation and pc will run the same graphic settings Mm -hmm. xbox or PlayStation and PC can run 1080p or higher. Well, PlayStation's locked to 1080p, but it can do it. Xbox, yeah. however, is locked to 900. The Xbox One? Yes, the Xbox One is locked to 900p. I'm pretty sure it can get 1080p. Mm-mm. <laughs> I thought it can get 1080p as well, I'm pretty sure. It, it can get 1080p, but some games don't run it because the core isn't as strong as the PlayStation. Yeah, I I'd have to agree because I mean, I'm pretty sure it is 1080 because I I pulled it up myself and it's saying that it can reach 1080 on certain games. Yeah, right it depends. It would stretch the system to a limit though. Well, I mean, on certain games, yeah, that's fine. Well, like Destiny ran it at 1080p. Um, there's a few others. A lot of games are like really low quality though. Like yeah, well, I mean, it, they I struggle get, like, at like. 60 frames per second Battlefield 4 mm-hmm. from PlayStation to Xbox. Battlefield 4 is locked at 720p on the Xbox for 60 frames. Yeah. Well, that's that's the developer's choice, though. That's not really... It can. It, sometimes yeah. it is. It's, it's Like I said, it's a, it's a really tough conversation, but yeah. then you've got stuff like the PC that can run 4K graphics. And if you've well, never seen true. the 4K, it looks 
Yeah. God, look, it's Pretty impressive. Good. All right. <laughs> well, we're going to go ahead and bump off that because we're almost, we're almost bumping over an hour on this episode already. This will probably be the longest one we've done, but I, I've enjoyed listening to the different very, very aspects of everyone's and what they think. All right, so this is going to be a new segment I called... All right, it's called Fact or Fiction, or it's called, actually called Fact or Not. Now, these are actual stuff that I've looked up and I've researched through multiple different things, and I know they're the right answer, but I'm going to ask you guys. We're going to have Ashley, we're going to have Design, and we're going to have... Um, Aries. Aries, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> oh now, God. fingers fingers off your keyboards. Yeah, they're, they're all... You, you only have 10 seconds to answer. I'm not giving you enough time to look this crap up, all right? <laughs> I know, I know how this goes. All right. Then make so, Aries go first, because he's the one that's going to type yeah. it. I know. Aries, <laughs> if Aries I type it, I'm, no, if I typed it, it'd be done in 10 seconds, before the 10 seconds comes up. Yeah, but you hear Aries typing, because it's like... <laughs> yeah, he types so, like a madman. <laughs> all right. True or false, we're going Aries, Zion, then Ashley. Or no, we'll go, I'm sorry, we'll go Aries, Ashley, and then Zion. Our two guests will go first. Is it physically impossible for a pig to look up into the sky? True or false? Aries. True, I think it has something to do with the spine. Okay, Ashley? True. Design. You know what? I'm just going to say false because everyone said true. All right, that is actually <laughs> true. All right, so we have two, one, we have um, one point for Aries and one point for Ashley. Oh, it's Designed a game? Designed at zero. Yes, oh, it oh, is. Bro, I just said, said true. <laughs> <Just Okay. like. laughs> so we're one on one. All right. Oh, my God. Here's the next one. A pregnant goldfish is called a gold twit. True or false, Aries? Uh, I'm going to say false. I don't think I've ever heard of this. Ashley? Before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard that either. False. <laughs> okay. And design. <laughs> True. <laughs> True? Yeah. Okay. So we got two points for... Oh, my God. <laughs> Design's just get on. All right. We got two points for Ashley. Two points for Aries, the actual the answer is false. It is called a twit, not a gold twit, but a twit. A pregnant goldfish is called a twit. A fucking twit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a word two. We're two zero on two. All right, here we go. On average, a human will have sex more than three thousand times and spend two weeks kissing in their lifetime. Aries, true or false? Oh, I saw the information on this one. It's I. True I think or false? that's actually true. Ashley, true or false? I'm going to say true. Okay, and design. I'm going to say false because I know a lot of nerds that probably... Okay, the answer like is... <laughs> the answer is false. All right, so one point design. Ashley and Aries are stuck at two. Now, it's actually, I'll give you the answer. A human will spend up to 3,800 times... Will have sex more than 3,800 times... And spend approximately a month kissing. So it was close. So it's two, two to one. All right, here we go. How many questions do we have? Oh, uh, you got about six more, maybe. Oh, okay. Depends, I can catch right? up. That's all I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Aries, you ready? Ashley, you ready? Yep. Less than fifty percent of people in the world have never made or received a telephone call. True or false? Less than fifty percent of people. False. Okay. Design? Or Ashley, excuse me? True. And design. True. All right, so that's one point for Aries. Okay? <laughs> the answer oh. is false. More than 50% of people in this world have not made or received a phone call. Damn. So it's Ow. three, two, Stone one. ages, bruh. All right. Now, true or false, rats and horses cannot vomit. Aries, true or false? Five. False. Four. All right. Ashley? True. And design. It, that they cannot vomit? That rats and horses cannot vomit. Yeah, true. I'd say true. All right. So, now, design has two. Ashley has three. And Aries has three. The answer is true. Yeah. Didn't know that. <laughs> okay. So, it's three, three, two. All right. Most lipsticks contain fish scales. True or false? Aries. True. Ashley? Oh. Are you two again? <laughs> Most lipstick <laughs> contains... Okay, you're going to go false? Okay, what about you, Design? True. I'm <laughs> All right. 
Aries and Ashley. Okay, so that's okay. You said true, so it's four three three now. So design you caught back up. You tied for yeah, second. Yeah, baby. And answer is true. It actually most lipsticks in the world contain fish scales. Uh, that's fucking disgusting. It's kind of isn't lipstick. That doesn't it. <laughs> <laughs> It's probably like the shiny effect. And some, of the, some of these questions I don't expect you to get right because they're questions that I purposely went out of the way to find. Okay? Oh, Fucking damn nerd. It. All right. Hey, do anything for the show, man, okay? <laughs> I'm like, hey, right. it's pretty cool. Here we go again. So it's 4-3-3. Three, three. All right. Aries leaving by a slim little bit. Let's see if you guys can catch them. Cat urine cannot glow under a black light. True or false, Aries? False. Ashley? False. You said urine cannot glow under a... Cat's Cat. urine cannot glow under a black light. True or false? Uh, I'd say false. All three of you got a point. Nice. It is false. It can. Which I didn't know that until I found this, so... I have four cats three. and a dog. I should know that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's five to four. Tied for second place is Ashley in design. All right. Like fingerprints, everyone's tongue prints... Is different. True or false, Aries? True. Ashley? True. And design? False. <laughs> All right. Design <laughs> falls back down to the third place. It's oh. a point for Aries and Ashley. Aries with six, Ashley with five, and design with Why four. Why do they have to be different? <laughs> <laughs> you better start going with the group, buddy. I know. Too much no. useless info. I, know. I never go All with right. the group. This one, this one everyone should get right. If you sneeze too hard, you can fracture a rib. True or false, Aries? True. Ashley? True. And design? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go false. <laughs> You're going to go false? <laughs> yeah. All right, that is a point for Ashley and... I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know, I know you can pop like a goddamn blood vessel, like a hernia or something, but fuck up, crack the rib? You could actually pop a blood vessel. And oh, my God. Okay. You could blow your eardrums. Okay, well, that, that's leading into the next question. So, seven, six, and four. Got yeah, them. I lost. Designs fall back a little bit. All right. So, these next four questions are going to be worth two points apiece. Everyone ready? All right. You can come back still. Now, you should get this next one right just because you were just talking about it. If you try to suppress a sneeze, you can rupture a blood vessel in your head or neck and die. True or false? True. Mm hmm. True. All right. True. Well, everyone got that one right. It is true. Which is funny because I was just talking about that. All right. Nine, this one's going to be a little bit tricky. You got to make sure you listen to this one, okay? All right. So, what is it? Nine, seven, six, six. Nine, seven, six. All right. Design, look, you're almost back in second. All right, so where? Head by two points. Yeah. So it'd be no, yeah. Ten, eight, eight six. Ten, eight, six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Scoring is shit. First time. Me. We'll get it together. Okay. Wearing headphones for just an hour will decrease the bacteria in your ears by seven hundred. True or false? It's a I true question. Say false. That one sounds so weird. False. Ashley. False. False. What about you, Design? You're gonna be different again. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> Okay, the answer is true. Wow. wow. Now, the reason why being true, I looked this up myself, is because it actually transfers into the headphones itself, and then when you remove the headphones, it gets out of your ears. That's, huh. that's nice to know. All right. Yum, yum. All right. We're using to wear headphones. So, <laughs> you jump back up by two points. I think you're still down by two. I'm not, I've really kind of lost count, but I know you're still behind. You're right. Maybe, you, maybe, maybe you can recount when uh, you I'll, watch I'll, I'll re-put uh, this up. Okay. And every now, this this was a tricky one. I actually had to go. I looked at four or five different sources for this one, and I found out. So it's kind of weird because I never really watched this show that often. I've seen like three episodes. Okay, so true or false? In every episode of the Seinfeld, there was a Superman emblem somewhere. True or false? I'd buy it. Yeah, true. Ashley. I'm gonna say true. And design. True. That is true, actually. I never actually knew that, and my phone goes off. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I never actually so knew that. So unprofessional. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's okay. We're already over an hour on this episode, guys, so it's going to be the last question. Bonus question, worth 10 points. Here we go, Design. This is your chance to come back, all right? Hey, thanks for being so uh, nice. All right, man. No problem, bro. All right. 
The cigarette lighter was invented after the match. True or false, Aries? Uh, Five. I'm gonna say false. Four, I think the cigarette lighter was first. Okay, Ashley. Uh, false. And design. I want the match to be invented first, so whatever, whatever is true or false. <laughs> you want the match to be invented first? <laughs> yeah. That's not an answer. True or false, man? What? Rewrote re it. The cigarette lighter was invented after the match. Yeah, true. True? That is false. The, actually, the cigarette lighter was invented first, and then along came the match. So. You kidding me? So I'm voting right now. This fucking <laughs> this lighter in my hand right now was invented before a fucking match? Yes, it, it was. Flint and steel. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we know Aries won by a bunch of points. Ashley came in second. Thank you so much for playing. Give yourself a round of applause. Yay, 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 yay. So hopefully um, we'll have some more fun stuff like that for you guys. This episode has been way longer than I thought it was going to be, but, you know, I don't even care because I've been having fun doing this, hearing Bruh, some answers. If you think it's a long video, you should check out <laughs> Ashley's fucking <laughs> podcast, dude. Those I, I was like three hours long. All right, I'll watch ten minutes. <laughs> like, that shit. Find a good spot. <laughs> like three hours, dude. I was like, damn. That's okay, though. Oh, excuse me. I don't even care that it's long because, I, like I said, I have enjoyed talking to you guys. I always do enjoy talking to you guys on this show. Now, actually, I was going to mention that before. I was going to ask you how that was going. What in the oh, world is God, that? Ashley. Hold on. This yeah. guy's done. Ah! <laughs> it's Ashley. Is everything okay? I believe dinner is done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I actually got her that TV dinner with that steak, macaroni, some rice on the side. She had a little brownie in a little cup over there. I know. No, she had one of them, uh, what was those kids' <laughs> cuisines with like a little bird on it? It's in the blue boxes. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, that's how I used to know dinner was always done, seriously. Every time mom cooked, the damn <laughs> alarm went off. <laughs> now, so like my fucking fire alarm goes off, and I ran in the kitchen. There's nothing on. So I was like, what could be burning? And there's nothing. I'm like, I'm creeped out. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Your house is haunted. It's haunted, yeah. It's okay, there. so... <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. We're making, <clears throat> we're making fun of your TV dinners. <laughs> oh, no. I, I haven't even made dinner yet. <laughs> oh, man. I ate some ribs and some good stuff tonight, but that what besides the point. So, actually, how was your... um? What is it called? Oh, Jesus. What is it? Nerd Nation? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Nerd how's that? How's that going? Really well, actually. We're at I want to say one twenty-eight on Twitch or something, or one something. Why well, you only been doing it what uh, maybe two months? Something like that, yeah. So Heck we're yeah. still we're still babies. We're still new. Yeah, I've actually I've actually set in on two of those for about thirty to forty-five minutes. I wasn't able to sit all the way through it, but it was kind of interesting. I mean, some people argue stupid facts sometimes, but. Yeah. Other than that, I think it's I think it's pretty well, and I, I do enjoy I do enjoy it when I do come and, and watch and we are keep, about keep it up. Facts too. Yeah, we do. Makes it sound like dumb though. Fuck it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Zan I don't know, like I don't like okay. following the group, bro. I'm a lone wolf. That's all right. That's all right, man. All right, so. Uh, if you guys haven't got to check out their podcast, Nerd Nation, go. It's on every Friday, I believe, correct? Every yeah, Friday? Every Friday, uh, at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. That'd be 8 o'clock Central Time? Yes. Yeah. If you live in the Central, she forgot about us, Central folk. It's and okay. then it's 7 o'clock it's okay. Mountain. Ask, because you guys have, like, smart viewers. Most people use You give us too much credit. <laughs> 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 All right, and it is at Twitch. Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash the nerd nation. The, the underscore. The nerd nation. Underscore the nerd nation. The nerd nation. Now, actually, check out her YouTube channel. is actually archaic. If you mm -hmm. haven't already, um, in my video coming up Thursday, I will. I'm doing a shout out Thursday for it, so you'll be able. To, you'll see her in there for sure. Um, I already. You all gave it away, so now you know you're going to be in that anyway. So, yeah, we're <laughs> yeah. going to be in that. And um, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Aries, I want to thank you so much for making time to come by, man. I really do appreciate it. And Ashley, you too. I know it's been difficult to get you on here because of working. Yeah. I don't know. I think I was actually I the guess one that you're... fucked it up the most. Yeah, design yeah. did mess it up a lot. But My bad, I got a it. job. No, he. it's not even his job. It's just that he overslept, and that's what made him have to work more. So, 
You know? Oh, yeah. True. My, my B. It's all good. Everyone does it. Actually, I don't know where you work at, but I know my pimp ain't that strong, so working <laughs> with you five to five, so something like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but Five I, to five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my dad works. Every day. Hey, she's getting that paper. That's all that matters. And actually, like I said, thank you so much for coming on here. It's always a joy having you come on here. We'll have you on here some more. I guarantee it. Yeah, Once we sure. get more and more people, um, trying to get more people on here that we don't know, but it's always good to have familiar faces uh, design. Thank you for Looking not talking half the time. Dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Your girlfriend <laughs> called me, bro. Her phone's broken, so I was like, damn, I got to answer this. Oh, uh, well, hopefully you can call her back. Hope she's not too angry at you. Nah, she went to bed. We kind of got an argument. Dang. Yep. All right, well, I'm leaving that in, not cutting it out. All yeah, right. leave it in, bro. <laughs> give a fuck. If you didn't check out last episode, if you want, if you know, I suggest you watch the whole thing, but if you go to the end, design looks kind of stupid again. So. No, dude, <laughs> man, it looks stupid. Maybe he'll fix it this time. By the way. No, no, I'm not fixing it. All right. Yeah, what's up? Mind me, I, we got to change our description later. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, guys, well, definitely go check out Ashley's channel. Go check out Lego uh, twitch.tv slash Lego gaming area streams there. He streams Arma 2 and some other weird games that I can't describe how to play because I don't play them. And if you want to go check out some Call of Duty and GTA and maybe some Minecraft and whatsoever, go check out twitch.tv slash Lego underscore HQ. You'll see me there with some cool music every once in a while once I get my other chords so I can set the damn thing up. And it's also pretty fun. You usually see design in there as well. So I thank you guys so much for stopping by. And as always, this has been your boy LT alongside with my co-host Lego Design. Yo, peace, guys. Um, I had that Ashley and <laughs> Aries, we will see yeah. you guys later. Peace, guys. Bye. Deuces. Deuces, huh? <laughs> Yo, I had that story for you guys. Oh. Uh.